It took overtime down at the Herbrooks National Hockey Center, but the St. Cloud State Huskies get the victory 5-4. Oh, welcome inside the studio for your post-game report. I'm your host, Joe Scarella. We're going to take a look back at how the Huskies got the win tonight and got the sweep starting things off in the first period. Huskies got the win last night. They came back out onto the ice looking a little different tonight. Pink jerseys in support of breast cancer awareness. A new look in net as well. Freshman David Hrennick gets the nod between the pipes. The power play for the Huskies was great yesterday. Jimmy Schultz a big reason why. A clap missile from the point and the Huskies jump up quick on the Nooks. Schultz third goal on the weekend. The pink and white trying to keep the momentum, a great chance to add to their lead, but Anton Martinson comes up big to keep it a one goal deficit. A four on four chance leads to the Huskies with a beautiful cycle play. The pass from Lazat finds Paling on the back door and the Huskies extend their lead, but wait, maybe they didn't. The call on the ice is no goal, ruled a kicking motion. Ryan Paling trying to plead his case, but it's still a one goal game. Late in the period, the Nanooks looking for a spark of hope. Well, they'd get it. Kyler Hope ties the game at one on a beautiful individual effort, and that brings us into the second period. The Nanooks tied the game late in the first period. Martinson was, a, was big, keeping it even. He would be called upon early in this one. Patrick Newell breaks through the middle, and Martinson, strong, challenging on top of his crease, makes a big save. Later, the Huskies on a 2-on-0. Jackson finds Paling on the other side, but somehow Martinson able to get his pad down and stone the Husky captain cold. Anton a little shaken up on the play, but he's a hockey player. He'd be just fine. Things starting to get chippy late in the period. The pink and white crashing the net, but then the Nooks getting physical around their blue paint. The boys in blue starting to push the pace. Steven Jandrick with a point-blank chance, but the puck is just sent wide. Time ticking down late in the second. A second chance opportunity finds Ross Height. He's able to elevate it on the backhand from his knee and give the Nanooks their first lead of the night heading into the third period. Huskies trailing by a goal heading into that third period for the second time in two nights. It didn't take very long though for the Huskies to tie the game. Robbie Jackson comes down the side, his second goal in as many games and we're even up at two. Jackson trying to add another tally, a nice move, but Zach Fry of the Nanook steps up with an elbow, five minutes and an ejection awarded for the contact to the head. The Nanooks able to kill off that penalty, but minutes later, a ricochet off a defender is swatted to Jacob Benson. Right place, right time. Nuskies take a 3-2 lead. Benson's second goal of the season. Alaska on the advantage, desperately trying to reverse their power play struggles. Nice puck movement up top, and for just the second time in 21 attempts, the Nanooks get a power play goal. Tristan Thompson buries one, and once again, we're even. Three minutes remaining, a turnover in the D zone. Brennick makes the first save, but a wide open net leads Ross Height to his second of the night. The number six Huskies desperately pleading for a goal. Less than two minutes to go. Asimont finds Ryan Paling, and guess what? Tie game. We have free hockey down at the Herbrooks National Hockey Center. Halfway into that overtime, Paling to Paling to the back of the net, and St. Cloud State able to get the victory, and that's that. Let's take a look at the stats from tonight's game as the Huskies get the win 5-4. They complete the sweep. Shots on goal, 34-26 in favor of the Huskies. Penalties, well, finally, Alaska Fairbanks able to capitalize one of four. St. Cloud State on the other side able to get one of five. We're going to take a look at what Motsko had to say on tonight's big win. Yeah, it was it was a good first period and a good end of the third period. The second period, both second periods weren't real good for us. So that's something that we got to, uh, you know, remedy and get through that. But we made plays when we needed. I mean, Palings tonight, big time on tying the game up and getting the overtimer uh, and learning how to win. And that's what's most important. You know, real unfortunate for the, their go-ahead goal. It goes off the ref. You know, he's in the way and... You know, it goes off him, and, and uh, we couldn't make the play there. But we battled back, so it was great, uh, great plays on our part. It's an early season game, and I don't want to sound like a negative coach, but, but we were, we, you know, we had moments of real good, and we had moments of not real good. And, and we have to learn to become more consistent in, in harder minutes. And sometimes by just playing hard and, and not thinking offense is a good shift. And we seem to get bored if the offense isn't there. 
um, which is one of our tendencies until we learn to toughen up. I mean, right now, you know, finding a way to win and building a culture and an identity of what this team wants to do, and, and we just got to take another step. Well, the pink propels the Huskies to a 5-4 overtime win. St. Cloud State will be back on the ice next Friday on Charter as they welcome number 13 overall Boston College to town. That series will conclude on Saturday right here on FSN. Turn out the lights, the party's over. We'll see you next time here on Fox Sports North.